The Arab Spring has brought empowerment, change and hope to several Middle Eastern countries. But the revolutions have also triggered instability and for some even fear. There certainly is fear. In Syria, for example, there's the fear that the new government will be an Islamic one that will impose the Sharia law under its Muslim rule, excluding Christians in the process. The community of St. Egidio in Rome invited key politicians, activists and professors to talk about the past, present and future of the Arab Spring. It included people from Tunisia, Lebanon, Egypt, Syria, Iraq and the Holy Land. Islamic movements uh, will have important role in the building of these societies that are for more than 90 percent Muslims. So we have to deal with this fact and uh, the dialogue is important because dialogue will help to have uh, relations with the moderate Muslims and uh, put in a, a, a side, in a, in a corner, the uh, fundamentalism, uh, Islamic uh, movements. During this transition, perhaps Egypt has received the most media attention, especially after at least 26 Coptic Christians were killed in November in a conflict with the military. In Egypt, it's illegal for Muslims to convert to Christianity. Reports show that in the past, some have been arrested and even hospitalized for converting. We have also to, uh, to come up with, with a certain legal framework organizing conversion to one religion to another. The actual building of churches has also been a point of controversy. For years, the government limited their construction, and the issue is still problematic. When we speak about the relationship between Muslims and the Christians, we have to stick to law. Issues related to building and repairing churches or worship places in general, which is a genuine problem actually in Egypt for, for, for decades, should stick to the law. We have to apply the law. When it comes to establishing a new government, Fawzi says it must be established by its own citizens, without the influence of other countries.